So the question is whether PBCO3, that's lead to carbonate, is soluble or insoluble in water. And the short answer is that it's not soluble in water. It is insoluble. And we can tell that three different ways. First, we can look at the solubility rules here. So when we look at the solubility rules, we're coming down and right here. Most carbonates are insoluble. So we have this CO3 2 minus. That's the carbonate ion bonded to the lead 2 here. So since most carbonates are insoluble, with some exceptions, and lead is not an exception, lead 2 carbonate will be insoluble in water. We can also look at the solubility chart. So here's just a portion of the solubility chart. The positive ions are on the left, and the negative ions, the anions, they're on the bottom, and they would be on the top too as well here. So we find lead 2, here it is, Pb2+, plus. And then we find the carbonate ion, which is right here, CO3, 2 minus. So we go over and up. And that I there, that I means that PbCO3 will be insoluble in water. If you put it in water, it won't dissolve and it won't dissociate into its ions. We know that it's lead 2 plus because the carbonate has that 2 minus ionic charge. So the lead, that has to be 2 plus. So that's why we're calling this lead 2 carbonate. While we say that it's insoluble, there will be a very, very small amount that will dissolve. But for practical purposes, lead 2 carbonate is insoluble in water. There's one final way we can do this. We could take the PbCO3, put some of it in water, and see what happens. And based on the chart here, and then on the solubility rules, we would expect that it wouldn't dissolve. It would be insoluble. In answer to our question, lead 2 carbonate is insoluble in water. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.